Okay, so let's say you're given a right triangular prism, and a right triangular prism is something that I don't want to talk too much about here, but in this case, it's a right triangular prism because of this right angle right here, right? They're referring to this right angle, and usually when you hear the phrase right triangular prism, they're referring to a right angle somewhere in the shape um, in some way. So here's our right triangular prism, and what they tell you is that the height is about 3.5 meters, so they label that. This is 3.5 meters. And the base is equal to 6 meters, referring to this right here, that the base equals 6 meters. And the length is equal to 2.5 meters, referring to this distance right here. And they want you to find, of course, the number of cubic meters, this is how they phrase it here, that could fit inside the shape. And what they're referring to there, of course, is volume. So all we have to do for this shape is find the volume. How am I going to do that? Well, I'm going to multiply my, my base by my length first. Um, 6 times 2.5. And that gives me, of course, well, 6 times 2 is 12, right? Times a half of 6 is 3, so it's 15 square meters. I'm going to multiply that by my height right here. So we get 15 times 3.5, which gives me 45 plus half of 15, which is 7.5. Put these together, I get 52.5 right cubic meters. But that, if you think about what I just did, I multiplied the area of a, of a rectangle, right? The base times the length here. Oops, the base times the length. And that gave me this rectangle down here. Then when I multiply that by the height, what I'm essentially doing is, is taking stacks of rectangles. And that's not what I'm looking for here, right? It's taking stacks of rectangles, ignore the drawing slightly off here would form a rectangular prism. But what's nice about the triangular um, prism and the rectangular prism is that the triangular prism is half of the rectangular prism. So even though my drawing's off here a little bit, for example, there should be no gap here or here, we know that the triangular prism is half of the rectangular prism. So to find the volume of this triangular prism, I'm gonna take half, right, of this number right here because this number is the volume of a rectangular prism. So to finish this problem off, I take 52.5 and divide it by 2. What does that give me? Well, 52 divided by 2 is 26, right? And 0.5 divided by 2 is 0.25. So it's 26.25. And that's cubic meters, or meters to the third power. And that's my answer. Thanks.